thank you so much, everybody, for, for your comments and for your support today. Um, there's a few people, or a few groups, actually, that we want to thank. Um, first off, we want to thank Local 1488 out of UW, who uh, allocated $20,000 to bring people to our strike today. Wow. Also, Local 5 out of Tacoma, who, I'm sorry, Local 53 out of Tacoma, who allocated $5,000 for people to get here. Yeah. And our own Local 443, who donated up to $50,000 for supplies today. So they're responsible for all the food that you're getting. We want to thank um, United Students Against Sweatshops from both here at Evergreen and the University of Washington who have been really critical in helping us organize the students. And there's two really important people who have been a key, key people for, um, ooh, I'm going to get emotional, <laughs> um, for our union since we started. Um, the first is our chief negotiator who is an Evergreen alum and works for the Washington Federation of State Employees who took the time to figure out what it is that's so unique about our exempt staff union and our college and has really been there and fighting with us since the beginning and that's Debbie Brookman. And the other person um, is uh, the higher ed strategic coordinator for the Federation who taught us um, how to organize and that organizing truly means building relationships within our union and knowing each other because we're stronger together and that a union is really what we make of it and that the power comes from all of us. And so we wouldn't be here today if we didn't have the amazing support and organizing skills of Rod Palmquist. <laughs> Along with all the people we've been thanking, I also want to thank uh, a group that we might not have thought of naturally uh, because it's a group of managers. Um, we've been bashing on management <laughs> for a while, but I want to make it clear that not everybody is of the same mindset. We have some really fantastic allies, managers who, despite their roles in administration, can see what's going on. They, they know what's going on and they're, they are the people who actually know how to manage. They're really effective in their roles. It's because they have empathy. It's because they're reasonable. And so I really want to thank these really fantastic allies because uh, without them it would be even harder to work in our office and offices and do what we do um, to try to keep our spirits up through this. Um, and, and that leads me to one of the final things I want to say to you students particularly is that uh, your future is ahead of you and you're, you know, I want you to think about when you get in positions of power, you know, what all, what all has happened today. And I want you to occupy those positions of power so that you can treat labor, you can treat everybody that makes your communities work, you can treat them fairly, you can treat them with dignity. So the, the problem is that a lot of the most humble people don't aspire to such positions of power. But I want to tell you, I think you should aspire to those positions of power because if you don't, with your good intentions and your empathy and reasonableness, if you don't do it, they'll be occupied by people who have none of those things. And so please consider that for your future. All right, so I, I want to thank you and, and, and close by saying that we need as many of you to stay throughout this as much as possible. We're going at this until 7.30, so we hope it all stays strong. Thank you so much. Yeah. Now, chance, we are evergreen. 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 
that we need people here till 7.30. We are so appreciative of the support, but if you're interested in being dispatched to one of the 12 picket lines that we have set up on campus right now, not everybody is here. They're all around campus. Um, please go meet at the flagpoles over there and we'll send you to a particular location. Thank you so much, everybody.